Hey guys, welcome back to the This Is All Skate Shop YouTube channel. Winter is lurking and probably there's gonna be ice very soon. So let's prepare for a harsh winter with some instructions on how to convert your inline skates to ice skates. There's a couple of different techniques and in this video I'll tell you all about it. Welcome back to this new video. We're here in our store in Amsterdam right now. If it's freezing, we're also doing rental ice skates here because we're next to the Fondel Park. So you can rent skates here and skate in the Fondel Park. If you're not in the Amsterdam neighborhood and you want to skate in your local ice skating rink, if you already have some inline skates, you can convert them to ice skates. There's a couple of different options. You see them laying around here on the table. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything there is to know about all these different options and how to mount them to your boot. It is possible, of course, to, to just buy some ice skates. And ice skates work pretty well, but most ice skates are actually not that comfortable as the uh, inline skates that you're used to. So me personally, if I go ice skating, I like to have one of those comfortable, good, solid and strong inline skate boots. I remember in primary school, there was a kid in my class and he already had this convertible ice plate that he put in his back then Roaches skate and I was super jealous at him. Uh, so I'm happy to now finally have this in my hands myself. You can convert any inline skate with this to an, uh, to an ice skate. Just take out the wheels and put this in the middle. There's a version of there with three wheels as well. Um, it's a bit harder if you have an aggressive skate frame because sometimes in the middle there's a groove that gets a little bit in the way and sometimes the middle wheels are further apart which makes not all four holes fit. It is actually possible to mount it with just three uh, axles. Uh, we did some ice skating demos once with also uh, Jelle Brigeman, for example, doing some flips on his inline skates converted to ice skates with only three axles. Uh, so that works. You can do flips with it also with three axles. If you're in doubt if this ice blade will fit in your aggressive frame, you can always send us a message to check if it's compatible. Obviously, if you take out the wheels, a frame is way too wide to put in the ice frame. So that's why it always comes with these little spacers that you have to put on the sides of the blade and then you can put it in the frame like that boom there's a version of this uh, ice blade frame from power slide and there's one from fr uh, so check them out on our web shop if you want to see more about them uh, they're multiple sizes we included the length of the actual blades on our website so you can measure the length of your own inline skate frame and see which one is the best for you. Then there's another whole category of convertible ice skate frames and those are the ones that you use to replace your frame with. They have the frame mounting holes and there's of course three different mounting standards. The 165 type mounting standard, the UFS type mounting standard and the Trinity type mounting standard. If you're not sure which one you have, first check out our video on YouTube just about mounting standards to learn more about that. In short, if the front and the back of your skate is level and you're doing tricks with your skate, you have a universal frame system mounting standard and then you use this ground control frame to convert it to ice skates with. If you have a classical freestyle skate, then the front is lower and the back is higher of your skate. And then uh, if you have only two bolts, then you have the 165 mounting probably or 195, slim chance of that. And if you have three bolts, then you have the Trinity mount with the holes on the side. Um, these are of course uh, a lot better as an options. Uh, th these are also made from metal, so this is stronger. 
the UFS one from ground control is made from plastic, which works just fine. And it also means that grinding on them is easier. Grinding on your ice skates is actually possible if you have an aggressive skate and you use the UFS converter. We did an entire video about it. Check out some cool clips from it. So we now discussed a way to take out your wheels and put an ice blade in between to take out the entire frame and to put an, an ice frame instead. But there's like a third option and these, this is for, uh, for skates that have a riveted frame. It takes a lot of work, and, but you can actually drill out those riveted frames. And then um, if you're left with just a boot, you can put on an ice skate frame just like this. So most classical ice skates have a blade just like this. And uh, so you can buy like any old school type of ice blade and any old school type of inline skate and boom, convert it yourself. If you don't have an old school type of skate, we of course have those uh, plentiful. And if you don't have any of the, of the blades, we also have those in stock. A cool thing is, is that a Dutch company, Zandstra, made their own special edition Roaches skate in this exact way. They just bought some skates from Roaches, uh, got some classical ice skate frames and converted them into these cool skates. Uh, this was originally a speed skate and we mounted this uh, uh, hockey blade ourselves. And now the M12, Roaches M12 Ice is coming out finally. And it is exactly this skate, but then with the normal inline skate cuff. It comes out this winter, available of course at This Is Soul here in the store or on thisisoul.com. Um, so that's a nice little history thing uh, it's a possibility for you to do it yourself but if you if you're lazy and just want to have a cool product you can always get it here if you have some old ice skates at home and you want to sharpen them up we have sharpening machines here to uh, prepare you for the winter um, if you're done skating remember to grease them up before you put them in the closet for a year because if you would take them out without the grease they'll be all rusty so Check that, use some grease, and uh, if you have any questions about converting inline skates to ice skates, you can drop it in the comments, uh, or come to our store here in Amsterdam, of course. So, if you like videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you, bye-bye. Oh, this, oh, good with only three, three made their own like special editions <clears throat> again special editions so that's that and then so uh, grease and uh, sharpen boom boom um 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 uh, hmm.